Hey, it's David Arnold with Worldwide Bookkeeping. Um, one of the questions that I get from QuickBooks users uh, pretty frequently uh, happens when these owners get out um, and either in the heat of the moment or just, just making a mistake, they accidentally pick the wrong card. Um, they pay for a business transaction, uh, either using a personal credit card or a personal debit card. Um, and so the question is, they, they get back into their QuickBooks and they're like, how do I reflect that? Where do I enter this or what do I do to make sure that I'm still getting uh, credit for the potential deduction um, because it's not flowing through from my online bank feed. So if we take a look here um, in QuickBooks Online, if this was in a personal or excuse me, if this were in a business checking account, um, you would see that transaction flow through. Um, let's say we're buying some um, job materials for a construction company potentially, you're out at, at Home Depot and uh, you accidentally pay with a personal card. How do you reflect that? It's not here in the business account. Well, one way you can do it is by going to the new button and doing a journal entry. Now a journal entry is when you're, this is the way you can manually record a transaction. Um, you always wanna set uh, your journal entry date to be um, the date of the transaction. That's pretty self-explanatory. If you're doing a journal entry, um, best best practice would be to um, put in you know your initials there. So at least that way, um, between you and your your bookkeeper, your accountant, um, you can know who entered the journal entry. Uh, so that that's an important thing. Uh, but what we're trying to do with this journal entry, one, we want to reflect the business deduction, uh, the business expense portion of this transaction. Um, and then two, we want to reflect um, the part that you didn't pay this out of a business account, you paid it out of your personal account. So first we're gonna come in here, we're gonna put job supplies, I think job supplies, no, job materials. We're gonna do job materials, um, and that's an expense, let's say we spent $100, um, for a description, we would just put to record purchase of job materials paid um, paid for with personal account. And we bought these at Home Depot. So I think it's always best practice to add a name there. Now we're recorded. That's the first part. We've recorded the actual um, purchase of the job materials. And now the other side of that transaction we want to reflect, paid this out of our personal account. So for this, we're going to put owner owner's investment. This is an equity. You're contributing money towards the business, okay? Now, this was money that was immediately put in the business and used to uh, purchase the job materials, but this was money that you put in. So you'll notice that as soon as I added that account, um, and actually QuickBooks automatically adds $100 to the other side. So um, it is trying to balance the debits and credits of this journal entry. Um, any journal entry, the total debits must equal the total credits before it will save. Um, and then it automatically copied over to the description. So you could actually, you could hit save and new. Um, you could hit the drop down, hit save and close. That will save the transaction. Um, so that's how you do it. That's how you record a uh, purchase, a business expense made with a personal account. Um, you do the journal entry there. Um, what oh, I see a lot of people will do, they'll try to come in. They want to um, link the account. They create their personal account within QuickBooks, and then they bring in all of the transactions with that. What ends up happening there is um, if you only have one business-related transaction from your personal account, you end up having to categorize every single transaction and making them all as owner's withdrawal. Um, you just have that one business transaction. So much faster to do it with a journal entry. Um, if you have any more questions about that or if there's anything I can help you with QuickBooks, um, reach out to me. Let me know. Thank you very much. We'll see you on the next video.